bottles or bowls? What one do you use? Hey everyone and welcome to this video. So today we're going to be talking about water bottles or water bowls. What one's better? A lot of people, especially people that are new to hamster care, get confused about water bottles and water bowls. Because there's so much speculation between what one's actually better for the animal, then people start getting confused and they start freaking out because they feel like they're not actually doing the right thing. When I was new to keeping hamsters and learning about water bowls and water dishes and <laughs> water bottles, it got confusing and you always felt like no matter what one you were going to be using, you were always doing something wrong. Right now out in the market there is just so much stuff for hamster care, there is so much equipment, so many different things and everyone just gets confused and doesn't know what to actually buy. Well in this video I'm going to actually talk about the pros and cons of using either bottles or dishes or bowls if you would like to call them them and just talk about it a little bit and just see what is actually better. I do need for you guys to comment down below though because I want to know what you use. I want to know if you use a bowl or if you use a water bowl or maybe if you use both. If you use something different that would be interesting to know as well because <sighs> hamster care is always about learning. Before we do get started though as always I do want to ask you guys who are new here to hit the subscribe button as it really really does help this channel. Everyone don't forget to hit the thumbs up button because that is critical to helping this channel out So if you really want to help me out and help this channel grow then I suggest that you hit the thumbs up button That would be amazing and if you want to you can share this video as well Don't forget to add your comment down below because then you can tell me what you use whether it be a bottle a bowl or something else that I haven't heard of before and Yeah, without further ado, let's dive into the video So to start off this video, I actually want to start off with the more commonly traditional type of drinking faucet for a hamster and that is a water bottle. So water bottles come in all different shapes and sizes, you get them in glass like this one and you get them in plastic, you can get them in different shapes as well and some of them get quite bizarre, I'll pop some images on the screen. Water bottles are there simply because it's easier to deal with a water bottle than it is a water bowl. Filling a water bottle up you can leave it filled up and it won't leak all over your hamster's cage and it won't get your hamster wet, it won't get dirty and it won't flood your hamster out. So what are the pros to actually having a water bottle? Well first of all they don't flood which means they won't flood out your hamster's cage if your hamster accidentally tips it over or knocks it off its cage or it falls or anything like that it's not going to leak all over your hamster's bedding and potentially leave your hamster living in a swimming bath. Water bottles are also anti-drown which means that your hamster can't actually drown from having a water bottle. They can use it to drink and they can drink from it safely without the danger of them actually slipping into it and drowning. Another pro to having a water bottle is the fact that it is dirt resistant. So that means that no bits of dust or any kind of bedding or dirt or anything from around the house, hairs etc can't get into the water bottle and contaminate the water making it dirty. This is especially good because it's actually better for your hamster to drink clean water than it would be dirty water but it doesn't actually mean that drinking the water with stuff in it is actually dangerous for your hamster, it just would be preferred for it not to be drinking dirty water. So now that we've covered the pros of having a water bottle, what is the cons of actually having a water bottle? The biggest problem with having a water bottle is it forces your hamster to drink in an unnatural position. Hamsters in the wild would tend to drink from water below their chin so that means they would have to bend over and drink from it that way, the way a dog would or a cat would. But having a water bottle means that you need to hang it from your hamster's cage which means that your hamster is generally drinking in an up position. So that means their neck is bent up and the water is actually going down their throat that way which is unnatural for a hamster to drink like that. Hamster water bottles also can build lime scale if they've been left for too long. Now I'm sure this is only in certain countries that don't have great filtration on their water but just to be precautious, if you do live in the UK like I do, I've never ever had a problem with this and I stay in Scotland so I've never had a problem with lime scale or any kind of algae in the water bottle at all but just to be cautious, do remember that you do need to clean out your water bottle every single day and only fill it up enough for your hamster to actually drink during the day and then empty it out and fill it again. You don't need to fill your water bottle up to the top. On that note, that is the next point that I have. Water bottles are easy to fill up and forget about for about a week. You can sometimes get away with leaving your water bottle in a hamster's cage for around two weeks, maybe longer because hamsters don't tend to drink that much. This full water bottle could literally last a hamster about a month. That's, that's how much water this could hold for a hamster which is really really bad because the water in there would start to go 
not off because water can't go off, but it would be a sense of going off. It would be stale. And God knows we all don't want to have to drink stale water. <laughs> Another con to having a water bottle is the fact that the spout can actually become blocked. The inside of these spouts are metal and they can't actually rust. Inside here are two, usually two will be in, some have three, some have four, some only have one. And the ones that have one are the ones that tend to leak. Most of the time these can actually rust and can become blocked or can become stuck and if you don't notice this in time this means that your hamster won't actually be able to drink the water from the spout because nothing will be coming out of it. If that is left for long enough your hamster could be left to go dehydrate and that is posing potential risk to your hamster actually dehydrating and passing away which is something none of us want. So now that we've got past the pros and the cons of actually having a water bottle, let's move on to water bottles and see what they have in store. The first pro that I have for you with a water bowl is the most important one and that is that it does force your hamster to drink in a natural position. So because your hamster has to climb up, usually you would use one this size or smaller and it's usually quite um, shallow as well in depth because you don't want your hamster to be able to fall in there. But this usually forces your hamster to drink in a natural position. So your hamster would come up to the bowl and be drinking this way rather than having their neck up towards the spout. So this gives them a natural drinking position which is a lot comfier for the hamster to actually drink water. Midnight, get your head at the bag. Nothing in there for you. Bloody, Another pro to having a water bowl or at least offering your hamster a water bowl while it still has a water bottle in its cage is the fact that it won't become blocked. So if your hamster's bottle does actually become blocked it means that they would have a backup water dish that they can actually drink from and they can use this while their bottle is brought. So that means that they can use their bowl while the bottle is actually blocked. So that's a backup for your hamster if your hamster is drinking water and it's water all of a sudden blocks on the tube and it has a bowl that it can actually go drink from, that would be a great idea to do that. Another pro to having a water bowl is actually the fact that it can remember you to change the water daily. So because you will actually be at your hamster's cage and you will see the dirt and the grime inside the bowl, that will actually encourage you to change their water out daily. Also the fact that it runs out a lot faster because it is exposed to the elements and it's exposed to the air, it actually does evaporate a lot faster than what the water would if it was in a water bottle. Water evaporates out of a water bowl so fast because it is an open surface and the water just slowly disappears with the heat in the house and your hamster drinking out of course. The other good thing about this is the hamster bowl is actually easy to fill as well so it means that you just can get away with taking it to the sink and cleaning it out or if it isn't dirty but it just needs a top up of water you can actually just take some water from the sink and pour it into the bowl inside the cage as well. Yeah, water bowls are really really easy to keep clean, they're really really easy to fill as well but they do evaporate quite quickly so the good thing about that is it will remember you to change the water every single day. Hamster bowls will only ever build up lime scale if you actually do leave them more than a week usually if you leave it full of water for a week but in hamsters cases this doesn't really happen because usually the bowls you use aren't big enough to keep enough water in them for a week so you would probably be okay with lime scale so it shouldn't build up any lime scale if it does it's easy to clean as i said earlier you just take it out give it a wipe and refill it again put it back in your hamsters cage boom water back in your hamsters cage again it's easy as hell and it's so much better for your hamster. You don't have the risk of a spout blocking but you do have the risk of the water running dry. So you don't have the risk of a dried up spout but you do have the risk of a dried up bowl. That is a compromise, it's something that you can d decide upon but if you were giving your hamster a water bowl I would always suggest that you do actually give your hamster a water bottle along with that because you always want a supply of water to be there for your hamster in case it needs it. Let's move on to the cons about water bowls. The first one I've got and it's pretty obvious it is a high risk of flooding the cage. If you don't use a bowl that is ceramic and is heavy enough for your hamster not to tip over there is a high risk that the bowl will actually tip over when your hamster uses it and it will flood their full entire cage like it will make everything wet but there is a good way of not doing that and you can actually use a bowl and put stones or whatever in the middle of it and that will weigh the bowl down if you use a bowl big enough just always make sure that you have a bowl that's shallow but you want a bowl that's big to be able to put the stones in and with putting the stones in there it'll also give your hamster the less risk of drowning talking about drowning having a water bowl in your hamster's cage is giving your hamster a higher risk of drowning it is a risk that is there but it's something that can also be avoided 
You can avoid drowning by giving your hamster a smaller ceramic bowl which is quite shallow and has not got a lot of space in it so if your hamster does fall in it's easy for it to get back out again. If you do decide to use a bit of a bigger bowl just fill it with stones and make sure that it isn't going to let your hamster fit in it and be able to actually stay under the water. If you use a shallow enough bowl and it's big enough, your hamster should be able to get wet but it won't actually drown. The next con that I have for this water bowl or water bowls in general is they can become really really dirty. And if you're like me and you use a lot of different substrates in your cage, this means that if you've got your water bowl in the sand pit or you've got your water bowl in the dirt pit, it means that the, the dirt is going to end up getting in into the bowl because it's exposed to the air. This is the same for anyone that uses aspen or any other kind of substrate. Any kind of substrate is going to get inside the bowl so this is something that you're going to need to watch out for and something that you're going to need to continue to clean out. That brings me to my last point on water bowls is they're not as easy to maintain as what a water bottle would be because if you do forget to change your water bottle out one day and you change it the next day your hamster's going to be fine because the water in that bottle is going to still be there it's going to be okay to drink. The bad thing about a water bowl is if a hamster is a picky hamster as well, it means if the water is dirty there is a good chance that your hamster may not drink from the bowl. This is why I always suggest that you give your hamster a bottle and a water bowl at the same time. This can be done pretty easily, you just have to create a nice space for your hamster bowl to have water in it in the cage and you'll be all good to go. Another reason why it's not so easy to maintain is because you do have to actually clean it out every single day and not a lot of owners are up to actually doing that but once you get into the rhythm of it and you actually do it every single day it becomes like second hand nature you don't even think about doing it you go visit your hamster make sure their cage is okay make sure they have food and make sure they're okay and just change the water out while you're actually doing that. So that is all my opinions on water bowls or water bottles. But I know there's going to be a lot of questions down in the comments asking what one's actually better. So I'm going to answer this here right now. Both of them are equally as good. The only thing that's better about bowls is the fact that it gives your hamster a natural drinking position and it's a lot more natural for your hamster to actually be able to drink that way. Another good thing about bottles is they won't flood your cage and they're generally easier to deal with and a lot easier to handle. The more preferred one for me would be water bowls but I do like a bottle as well. I've always got a bottle in my cage regardless. Sometimes I'll give the hamsters a bowl, other times I won't. My personal opinion on this one and the recommendation I'm going to give to you is try them both out, see what you prefer, see what your hamster actually prefers and make your decision based off that. But I would recommend that you do always leave a water bottle in your hamster's cage just in case that day arrives where they do run out of water and they still have their water bottle as a backup. Well guys, I'm getting lightheaded now with all the talking that I've done so I'm going to wrap this video up here. Before I go, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below as it really, really does help the channel guys. It helps us grow. Secondly, don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget to comment down below telling me what you prefer to use. I'm sure it will help other viewers as well if they do scroll down there and want to see other people's opinions. So if you have an opinion on this subject, do leave a comment down below telling me what your opinion on this is. I am interested and I will respond to your comment. Well guys, that's everything from me and I will see you all in next week's video. Bye!